I knew I was getting a little too hasty by trying to label the big bro as the ultimate villain of this show because he's not. He's not. Even though he's trying to wake us up by trying to stab our bed, he will never let a family member die. I think that's what he said when he basically, we were like dangling outside of the room after we jumped out because we had a bomb on us, right? And he saved us. He's like, nah, I would never let a family member die, but I might try to like kill him even though they will never die. Now, I think the bomb voyage guy, Mr. Bomb guy who was tweeting is dead? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe he survived. I don't know what kind of anime this is. Do people actually die other than in flashbacks? Like, cause he was tweeting the entire time. So is that just like the comedic appeal of it? Did bro survive? Or did he just die? I could totally see him just like tweeting the next day saying, holy shit, I got blown up, but I'm finally okay. I don't fucking know. I wonder what's going to happen from here on out. I think they mentioned something about the underworld and other spy families. So let's begin today's episode. What is this? Backstory? What the? Bald? I think. This is probably a nightmare. Tayu thinks that he can't save Mutsumi, so he's having a nightmare about it. And then wake up! I half expected the older brother to be here. Yo! Our dog! That drives. I still think it looks like a cat. But right now, it kind of looks like a dog. He sleeps in a room, huh? Yeah, I expected him to be here with the knife. Goliath, you're right. Not Goliath. I gotta pronounce it. Oh, careful! What the fuck is going on here? Nana and Garbage Man is just like hugging each other. Ooh. Oh! This is all of his costumes because he like, you know, has like face masks and always has different disguises. So this is his mountain of a closet. That's crazy. Holy shit. Hi, Nick. Plan three. Today's episode is called Feelings, huh? Hmm. Okay. Taiyo's feelings towards Mutsumi. Feelings, huh? Oh! Goryath was sleeping in her room because Mutsumi asked him to be guard. I thought Goryath just like liked, you know, tired. <laughs> so Goryath was there to make sure Big Bro wouldn't, you know, try to fucking stab us in bed. Okay, I, I, I... Is there Goryath merch? Makes you want to fucking buy a plushie of Goryath, man. God damn, these anime fucking studios, these these anime companies, bro, they're so smart with, you know, fucking trying to make us spend more money. I want Goryath merch. Goryath maybe a little bit of a tsundere or just still mad that we stepped on his tail? How does Goryath drive a car? What, how, how, other than the anime logic, how the fuck is he driving a car? See, that's the thing about Taiyo. It's like, what is his specialty? Everyone seems to have their own niche, right? Disguises, drones, superhuman string, John Smith strings. Tayo though, like what is he good at? He must have some kind of specialty. Some weapon. Some technique? For the sake of my wife, I will become stronger. <laughs> Baldi? <laughs> that nightmare dude. <laughs> Alright. Why is she strong? Like, 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 here's another thing, right? Like, I get it. The gap moe of this twin tail lolly saying that she's a granny, right? That she's the oldest, right? But she's also got monster strength. Is this just genetics? Sure, but how are you this physically strong? I started training at three. Maybe she just built differently from the fucking beginning. Wait! That mean they straight up told us. We don't, no, no, what am I fucking saying? They straight up told us last episode. Right? The whole point about this family, Yozakura, is that there's the head who is not special, but everyone else, they've got super genetics that they, they've been bred, right? This is a super genetic family. It makes sense. But it's like, Tayo is not. Tayo is not a super human. So how the fuck is he gonna fight? <laughs> Minimum three years if you had Yozakura's genes. We don't have that much time, though. <laughs> All out training. What? Wait, what? Why would we wait for one month? It almost sounds like that one month of waiting is the training. You wanna just let him die? You, you wanna, you, I mean, she would've caught him probably. Despite training for one month. Got it, got it. 
So every day for a month, we're going to be doing like, you know, wipe on, wipe off, right? You know, the karate kid, you know, he's just like, Mr. Miyagi makes us do fucking random cleaning exercises. It's like, what the fuck are we actually training? Well, it's the fundamentals. And then he'll actually teach you after that one month. What the fuck kind of nightmare alarm is this? It's not even the proper cuckoo. It's a. Ah! Ah! Kill it! Kill it! Oh! Wait! That was a fucking bomb. Bro, I just woke up. Give me my coffee. Oh, come on. Blade thrower in the morning? Does this house get even maintained, bro? This is cannons, bazookas, lasers, flamethrowers, guns. The breakfast looks real nice, though. <laughs> no, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> he even had the fucking disguise ready. Well, Mutsumi doesn't need to survive. She's just chilling, right? Exactly. She's normal here. Accepted. How do we come accepted? So it's like a trial thing and you have to pass and survive and the computer will be like, all right, this user has passed and will no longer try to kill us. ゼンクリするともできボーナスがするんだ。常人でも2年ありゃクリアできるし。だからドゥリスナマン。ほら。油断禁物。食事も訓練のうちだ。What?。There's <笑> You want me to fucking shit myself outside, dude? Is I gotta shit my pants? Big bro, come on! I, I bet you if we go in the toilet and we're trying to take a shit, bro, something bit like underneath the toilet will come out and try to fucking kill us. It's like, oh, no, no, no. Even right now, you have to shit really fast. That's part of the training. The password refreshes every minute. Bro, I'ma I'm just fucking take a shit and piss on the fucking floor right here. If that's the game you're playing, fuck you. <laughs> so this is how everyone blocks it. Okay, okay. So it's immediately. Bro, how many pictures of Mutsumi do you have? Holy shit. But he uses a string. Big bro, he just shoots it. Drone. Sussy. Sussy, sussy, sussy. And Tayo always gets hit by it. Dude, I would fucking hate to live here, bro. This is a nightmare. Dude, like, every day, could you imagine having to do this shit over and over and over? This is fucking torture, but I guess they are elite spies, right? Are you. <laughs> Tayo's gonna get caught by it. Okay, how the fuck did he dodge all that? That's actually really amazing that he dodged all that. Maybe he's super fast. The, 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 the bros are willing to... Because, like, the goal is to hit the remote. You're gonna stand beside this shit? I wouldn't trust Tayo's aim. What a recoil. <laughs> This isn't even- he's just trying random fucking combinations! Mutsumi looks very cute there. I'm gonna assume that's scalding water. His face fucking broke his desk. Oh, because it's a weighted shirt that made him break the desk. Interesting. Okay, we got like weight training. 30 to 100 kilograms of weight range. What's she working at? God, his aim is so bad. <laughs> is this entire thing gonna be a shooter? Oh! The whole point of using the remote as a dummy 
is so he wants to watch the TV. I was thinking, like, why is the remote a fucking target? He's just trying to turn the goddamn TV on. He hasn't been able to watch TV. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mutsumi, hello. Mutsumi. Arigato. T Riz from Mutsumi. Did I wake you up by any chance? Yes, dude! You're fucking shooting a goddamn gun outside at late at night! Of course you can't get waken up! Missing every time! Maybe there's a silencer there, who knows? Yeah, a ball day is like taking you in my nightmares and I have to become stronger. Ever since back then. <laughs> Yo! You're not gonna give the kid a ride? <laughs> I, I guess peasants are not allowed in the Yosakura, you know, limousine here. Now you gonna walk to school? Fuck you! <laughs> Mutsumi just gets a ride. <laughs> That's so, so fucking funny. <laughs> you can see Tayo just walking behind in the window. <laughs> It shouldn't be this funny, but something about this is hilarious. High school? Middle school, what is this? Junior high. She tried to even die there, huh? I think it looks sick! That's crazy! The Mutsumi got bullied in the past like this because of her silver streak? But like... Where's brother Kiyochita right now? Like... Straight up, would it like the siblings be like trying to like they would try to kill these for I don't even know like what isn't she under constant mon monitor monitor? <laughs> Kyochiro just around us about to go John Smith on these asses. Yo, Tayo, where are you at? Tayo, Giga Chad. Bro's cutting his own hair. Did he just... And that's why he has a hairstyle. I don't really understand the significance of the cutting the hair. Was it to scare the girls off? Was it to show Mutsumi that cutting hair is not that important? I don't know, but that's like a Giga Chat move. I'm kind of confused though. Maybe it was just to scare off the girls by showing me he's insane. Yeah, I'm confused right now. This is confused, Riz. Liar. That's not the only reason. First name Riz. First name Riz. Oh, she's she's stroking it. Whenever a girl starts to you know fidget with their hair, that's like a good sign. Now you're gonna call me crazy, right? You go you gonna call me crazy by saying, Nah, what are you fucking talking about? It's actually a thing. When people get nervous or anxious or they're in front of somebody they like, they might start like girls specifically, like they'll start like touch their hair and they're, they're like, oh. You know, do stuff like that. Guys do this shit too. It's like a very uh, subconscious behavior. Oh. Now he's gonna push himself even harder because you said this now. Sibling stalking Riz. Okay, but he still hasn't hit the remote yet. <laughs> oh, got it. Wait. He's starting to believe! Can he hit the mark? Can we finally watch TV today? Holy shit, he's doing it! What the fuck is that remote made of? It must be the most indestructible fucking remote possible, right? Because, like, it changes channel. You, you shoot at it to turn it on and off. <laughs> that's the same material that's made with Nokia flip phones, right? <laughs> He's so nervous, dude. <laughs> what do the stats say? Are the stats good? Do you think she's wearing pants? Big sis Shion, she always wears this baggy ass shirt and slippers. You think she's wearing any? I, I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, I've been wondering about this for a long time too, Big sis Shion. Are you wearing something that need no shirts? Is it just a baggy shirt appeal? What's going on? Super lazy and shy. He's kind of like Bochi in how Bochi is so shy, she wants to get in the box and hide from things. And Big Bro Shinzo 
The box is basically the, the trash can is basically the box. Yeah, you're a bit of a loner too, aren't you? <laughs> Talents? Okay, Tayo might be gifted for Mutsumi. This is a nice ass bathroom. Holy shit. Yeah, I think this is basically saying that's something else, right? Is it talent? Or is he simply putting in like three times the effort anyone else has put in? And look at his hands, right? It kind of shows you. What 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 with the pot? Wait, 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 wait. It's just a gun? Gun. Shooting this entire time would do that? Because like what else has he been doing with his hands during the training? I don't know. In terms of like physical training, like the hands is supposed to show like, oh, he's working hard, but like I guess there's the fire burns, the shooting. The first episode, he did fucking grip, you know, Kyochiro's, you know, strings and stuff like that, too. Smoke, fire, nerve gas, nerve gas. Holy shit, he's the one. No more diarrhea at the time. Wow! Big Sis gave us one month, but we did it in three weeks. Pretty good. No, we still gotta take a shit. <laughs> okay. I'm still not early there yet. What the fuck, big bro? You got a baby rally. You think Mutsu is an actual fucking toddler? Wait. Also, I want to see what Mr. Buckethead looks like underneath that bucket. Wait, he's down. I think this is because he's just been pushing himself too hard. He's got a shit so bad that he's passing out like this. This is probably just the exhaustion for three weeks. Yeah, Okay, so Nano does like hospital duties. What the fuck? Oh, he was using like the disguises, just like how, you know, the Kengo guy uses the face mask. So he was hiding all the injuries, making it seem like he was doing perfectly fine when we were super fucked up the entire time. He got that heart of a hero, right? He's got that work ethic. He puts in like four times the effort of anyone. Giving you drugs? So that you could go without sleep or rest? That fake skin technology is crazy. But... Taiyo wanted to do it. I don't know. I think he's earning everyone's respect here. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Big sis! <laughs> yes, take care of yourself. A code breaking for the bathroom? <laughs> okay, he can do mental training with the bathroom lock while he's resting here. It's not anything simple like talent or hard work. What is it? It's derived from the feeling to protect Mutsumi, like that love for Mutsumi. Hi. He is kind of insane the way. It change at all. Futaba just stayed the same twin tail lolly for the longest time, huh? <laughs> Maybe her... Who is that? Mom? Mom. Mama. But face is covered. Oh, dude. Who's the mom? I want to see. It's probably just like Mitsumi, but like older, but hmm. Hmm. Who's the dad? Right? There's the mom. Do we know anything about the dad? Like, what else do we know about this family other than their, like, elite 
spy family that's been bred through generations around the head. Is there no dad? Is this classic deadbeat anime dad? Toji Fushiguro? No, Fushiguro was fine. Toji, Toji did his job. All right, we can shit now. Holy fuck, bro. You know what? No. No. Tayo did not collapse from the fatigue from the training. Bro took three weeks without no shit. He was constipated for three weeks and he passed out. That's fucked up. Bro didn't take a single dookie for three weeks. That is insane. Day 21, no poop. Congrats. With the 50 kilogram shirt on. Congratulations. Congrats, you can take a shit now. Hey, this is more of that uh, Evangelion reference. The fuck? The ring glows? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We even accept this, so even like the supercomputer will like be fair to us now. That's the craziest thing. Like this episode in itself was a training arc. But now the real training begins. This is just like the fundamentals, like learning how to walk. Now we're going to learn how to fucking run next episode. Okay. Hi. 100 kilogram shirt. <laughs> okay, we're going to scale the difficulty slider up. Actually kind of crazy how Big Bro is just lifting up 100 kilos like this. I mean, he is pretty muscular. But 100 kilos, just like, that's, that's, that's pretty impressive. And that's the episode. Today's episode was the uh, training arc for the training arc. But the training was essentially to show how much, like, like the qualities that Tayo has. Because like, what is he really? He's, he's like a regular human being, but is he really? He's able to walk towards the brink of insanity for Mutsumi out of the feeling of love, right? And we've already seen that he has the heart of a hero from the last couple episodes. He has that resolve. He has that mental fortitude. But I'm just trying to figure out what, how he's going to be able to keep up with these superhumans. But so far, it seems like we're gonna be, he's going to be brute forcing it, right? He's able to train harder than anyone else. So he'll be able to catch up faster than anyone else. And I'm really interested in exactly what his specialty will be in this family. Like, how does he fight? He did shoot the guns, right? And I think in the opening, he does shoot like a pistol. So maybe he will just be a marksman, but that's something we'll figure out in the future episodes. Some of the other important things, I guess, is the flashback of how this all started. So the day that uh, Mutsumi basically didn't give Tayo a ride to school, actually, no, this is not the same day, right? The, what, the day that Mutsumi was getting bullied, Tayo showed up and cut his hair and scared all the girls off. This part, I understand. It's like an act of ridiculousness that's supposed to show how far he's gonna go to save Mutsumi. But like, cutting the hair here, what did it really mean? To show that Mutsumi, hey, cutting your hair is not that scary, like I can do it too. It was a little bit, I was a little bit confused there, but it was still cool and heroic how he was able to come up and just kind of save Mutsumi from all the bullying. Kind of impressed that Mr. You know, Brother Kyochiro wasn't around here ready to kill all these girls, but... You get to see, like, the foundations of how Mutsumi and Tayo began, right? And that's pretty much it. Next episode, I guess, we'll delve more into Tayo's actual training. So are we going to get another training arc? I don't fucking know, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.